at, man? You know where we at, boy. So we put up the Indy City Barbell. months probably since spring since i've been up here probably before it was pre-hospital visit i think um and i wanted once again a change in environment man so we're bouncing around from amf to plainfield gym to vasa to now indy city uh a, a gym down where my mom lives two hours south bro like i'm everywhere on the map with it and uh all I can say is, bro, Indy's getting to know me. They see my face everywhere. The sun is cooking, bro. Look at the vascularity in my legs. The, the crazy thing about the, the sun is how it be just bringing the earthworms out. So we're in for a little bit of a different workout. It is kind of like a, a, a varied, abbreviated um, upper body day. So what we're hitting is three back movements, two rowing, one pulling i've really been prioritizing pulling movements i don't think i've done a single back rowing movement in three weeks um, we're gonna hit two chest movements and then two bicep and trap movements everything is one warm-up set where it's necessary and then two sets to absolute and utter failure and then somewhere in there man i'm gonna dissect and divulge is that the right word i don't know but we're gonna get into rir training uh, what that means and how I like to implement it into my clients programs and why I see it as so beneficial when you are trying to maximize muscle tissue gain um, let's go spend way too much on a guest pass and uh, train hard as fuck man let's get it we are 17 days out 17 days out 17 days to bring nothing but heat this is a very raw gym, man. So to match the energy along with the, the rawness of how I'm feeling in prep right now, we're just gonna go straight, just not too much music. Gonna throw the mic on, y'all gonna get all the grunts and the, the, the mm, all that shit today, man. So uh, y'all are in for one. Y'all are gonna see what, how your boy trains. I'm training harder than a bitch today, so be ready for that with one warm-up set per movement. Anywhere in a rep range just to start to really feel the muscle pump up with blood. Then we're going into two working sets to absolute failure, zero RIR. This is, like I said, the first time I've kind of done really messed with rolling movements in, um, you know, two, three, four weeks just because I'm really, really trying to work on getting that, um, you know, back width, that back width development. Not that rows are exclusive to back thickness, but we're definitely targeting width more, the outer lat, um, building that V taper with focusing on pulling movements. And that's going to be a huge, huge um, focal point of me during the off season. So, you know, I said, let's start now. Let's start in prep, man. Um, but yeah, man, it's gonna probably be about 75% uh, pulling opposed to maybe 25% rowing just from back training here on out. But today we're kind of, you know, going all around, mixing it up. So we're gonna do two rowing, one. Ooh! <laughs> 
we're trying to talk immediately after the set. <laughs> partial reps at the end, man. Those last two or three were not full reps, but they were partial. So, you know, we're getting part of that range of motion, but it is literally because I am at the point of I can't get the full thing. That is how you know you are training to failure hard as fuck. That is a true zero RL. Originally, I was looking for an underhand um, row so I can do something supinated. But since I'm not seeing that, we're going to go ahead and grab this bar, sit at the exact same spot we was just at, and uh, go underhand and just, I'm talking about just dig for lat drive. So one warm-up set since it's a new movement, and then uh, another two sets to zero to one RIR. Oh man, with this one I'm really focusing on getting that stretch forward since that range of motion coming back is a little bit more limited since the bar is going to be hitting my belly button. Um, not able to get as much elbow drive. So really just focusing on that eccentric push of the movement. Oh. 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 It feels so nice because I think it's hot in here. And recently I feel like I've been used to training in colder gyms and sometimes I just want to sweat. Definitely doing a lot of that right now. afraid to go back to the basics, keep it simple sometimes, to some decline push-ups, man. Oh, I'm like a copywriter. So when it comes to RIR training, there are a couple of variables that are paramount to have in place going into that session or just understanding the concept to maximize it. So intensity is basically above all. You know, assuming form, range of motion is where it should be, intensity is over volume. So one thing that I implement with my clients in TUA is, you know, you might have on paper uh, bicep curls, three sets of 10 to 15. So that 10 to 15 rep goal is kind of where you should be lying when you are you know, finished with your set. But if you get to rep 15 and you still have three, four, five left in the tank, don't stop. RIR is training between zero and three reps left in the tank. And that is where we're recruiting 
the muscle fibers that are gonna cause the most adaptation. Muscle is built through mechanical tension. So repeatedly taking your muscle through a fixed range of motion where you are maximally contracting the muscle fibers. When we are in that proximity of zero to three reps left in the tank. Yes, there's a time and a place for less intensity. There's a time and a place for, you know, going heavier, focusing on strength-based training. But for hypertrophy purposes, RIR is, I'm gonna say, you know, eight to nine times out of 10 where you want to be for the majority of your training focus. Um, let's see, what else? I think the concept of RIR is literally a skill to learn, man. Like, you know, I, I'll throw somebody into a training session that's, uh, you know, brand new training. Say they've been training two, three weeks a month. They're gonna have a lot more difficult of a time conceptualizing, you know, what is true failure? Where am I taking this set to truly? especially if they have like, you know, no athletic background. So I think it's something that you learn over the course of time. Um, my in-person client, Cynthia, she, you know, when we first started, she didn't know what failure was. She didn't know, um, you know, where to take a set when I said, go to you can't anymore. But you know, now three, four months into working with her, she can do that shit on her own. She does that shit on her own. Um, you know, I've been, I've been training with, the RIR mentality, using that as a, a main core value in my training for probably the past year. And I can tell you that I have seen significant gains in hypertrophy. As a result, in correlation, I have seen significant strength gains. Um, so I think, you know, all around, implement that range of failure into your sets and you're gonna watch yourself astronomically grow um, combined with nutrition, but that's a whole nother topic, man. That is a whole nother topic. Your boy is gassed, but I don't know why I'm even throwing that out there, because I have 75 minutes of cardio. We can do anything for 17 days, dog. We really can. And I'm, I'm, I'm staying locked in with that mindset. But is this the end of the video? I don't know. You guys are gonna send me in another clip? I don't know. Uh, but we will break it down another time. I don't even know what that means, bro. You, I am running on fumes, dog. Um, huh. 17 days, man. That's all I gotta say. If you see me in another clip, you see me in another clip.